Good morning, you lovely human beings out there. Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. So let's get straight into another video. Today we have none other than the lovely and wonderful Dr. Curry sharing some of her thoughts posthumously after this support letter came out for AH, which uh, many of us are surprised because you really question the motives of those grassroots organizations and uh, why they're supporting somebody that lied with actual malice. So instead of speculating, let's, uh, let's read what Dr. Curry is sharing um, via one of her colleague friends on her Instagram, which is Dr. Francesca Parker, Dr. Francesca Parker. So, Dr. Curry says, a balanced perspective from my perpetually balanced and brilliant friend, psychologist, professor, and feminist. All right. I can already hear the misandrist coming in uh, with their uh, hatred, but let's read. Francesca Lin, the doctor, says, I kept my close mouth closed during the her dep defamation trial because it was complicated and painful for a lot of people. But with this new open letter in support of Amber Heard, I gotta say something. Shannon Curry is my right or die. So of course I support her, but I'm also not afraid to disagree with her. Just ask her. We will. Uh, so here it is. I'm a feminist and the dynamics of domestic violence are serious. I want to live in a world where women are believed, but Amber Heard is a terrible example for this movement because I genuinely think that she was abusive. So if the Heard Dub defamation trial set progress back, then it's because of her choices. And I want to stress, this is, there is a unison echo probably on this video and many other video of both women and men agreeing with Dr. Francesca, because that's exactly the point. So let's continue. Second part. Yes, there were a lot of aspects of the trial that were upsetting and set off feminist alarm bells. But also, that doesn't mean that the trial verdict were wrong in regard to this specific relationship, her depth. Yes, personality disorder diagnoses have historically been used to silence abused women and that is scary and enraging. But also, some women actually do have these disorders so the answer is to be really thoughtful in diagnosing, talking, taking all those factors into account, not assume all diagnoses are biased. Yes, I'm scared about the verdict and emboldening, emboldening abusers. I cringed at the jerks online who gloated that it was proof women lie about sexual violence, but also some women are abusive and that seems to me to be the case here. So I would love to add that this letter of support from uh, those uh, specialists, and I'm sure they had to uh, scavenge around to find those people in support because there are many, many, many other organizations which are not part of the letters and many worldwide organizations which are not part of the letter. They managed to do this and some fear that it's in conjunction with uh, probably a possible appeal which is still has to be filed in and this is something that i read outside it's not something that i'm saying i don't know if that's the case but you will be hard pressed not to find this very compelling argument um, that all of a sudden there is a new push to get into the public mainstream and trying to get to that public opinion of people which perhaps haven't invested a lot of time in researching and seeing the trial and that probably would include also those grassroots organizations which they're supporting with this letter AH, which most likely did not take the time to listen to the hour, hours of audios which are available out there they're in the public domain and also the trial itself which is probably the biggest reason why people sided with Johnny Depp, but not only. So I would like to add that. And uh, also that they're trying to make this a question of people um, basically taking each example or this event as if 
it will be uh, manifesting in a negative light upon every other woman as if everybody that is trying to report on this fact on this manner all of a sudden will turn against the women which is absolutely not the case and it's just incredible that they think that they're so relevant that, that that's what it's going to happen. Uh, henceforth, the hashtag um, Amber, I don't stand with Amber H or something like that. All those, uh, here we go. Amber Heard does not speak for me. It's already getting like 2000 plus tweets. Um, and there is also the one on Johnny Depp, of course, which is getting even more momentum. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, let's continue. I stand with Johnny Depp is going crazy. Let's continue with the final part here. Uh, yes, it's oversimplified conversation about the dynamics of domestic violence and turned the trial into a meme field circus. But also it doesn't mean that the justice wasn't served in this particular case. Happy to talk more if anyone wants to. Uh, I would love to talk to uh, Dr. Francesca. Uh, we're really great to reach out. Uh, please, if you see this video, uh, contact me through my Instagram or I will try to see if I can find a way to contact them. Uh, Dr. Curry here shares there are 45 different symptoms combination of borderline personality disorder. It is characterized primarily by pain and sensitivity to abandonment. Beyond that, each person experience is unique. Most people with borderline personality turn their pain in word of themselves and will never hurt an, another soul. In the few, unfortunately, that wasn't the case for H. Apparently, in the future, it's likely that the diagnosis statistic manual of mental disorder will adopt a more spectrum-based approach to personality disorder diagnosis. This approach will reference traits and severity instead of diagnose, diagnostic categories. I look forward to this shift and its reflection on the diversity and individuality among those with BPD diagnosis. Dr. Shannon Curry. So very lovely to see a response at which I was actually waiting for it. And I honestly hope that there will be more specialists um, coming forward. If you're one of those that are watching this video, leave a comment about that. It would be very great to have also that counterbalance support of showing support for an actual survivor of DV. Again, they're trying to rewrite the narrative, and I suspect it's not so much because they really want to support AH, but more because there is a still a lot of interest around this subject about Johnny Depp and AH, and it's a great occasion, most likely for a lot of grassroots organization to get their moment in the public eye, in the mainstream media, which will publish this. But again, what we can do is to counterbalance with facts, information, so that you can make an informed decision. All right. Anyway, guys, please like the video, leave a comment, always spread love. I talk to you later.